welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Any other month other than December, I'm usually making over my mobile mansion. I do mobile home living in a trailer park in Tennessee. And I always said that always sounds like a Dollywood ride. <laughs> yeah, I sound like one of those people at the beginning of a Dollywood ride. I do mobile home living in a trailer park in Tennessee. Buckle up, hands and feet inside the vehicle, and let's get ready to roll. Today's video uh, is kind of a part two to what I got my kids for Christmas. I started off this vlogmas season with a bang and I've already done the first part which is a majority of my nine-year-old son's presents. Today's video we're going to be like wrapping it up and finishing off his presents showing you guys the rest of what he got. We do have two things coming but I'll show you those at first. I'll show you pictures over here. They'll be here within like five days I believe so they'll be here in time for Christmas and then all his stuff will be here. I'm also going to start showing you I'm going to try to finish showing you what all we got my 11 year old son Colton. So the first part here I'm going to show you what's left of what we got for Cammy that y'all have not seen yet and then I'll start showing you what we got for Colt and then at the end I'll have some wrap with me motivation because a few of you guys have asked me to do that. It gets kind of boring wrapping presents by yourself so I was like heck yeah we're going to see how many I can wrap tonight. It's already like 11 o'clock and I'm just starting this video and I'm easily going to be doing this video for a hot minute. So we're going to see how many we can get done tonight and hopefully it'll motivate you to get some of your presents wrapped because let me tell you something from experience, ain't nobody want to stay up till 5 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve, not Christmas morning, wrapping presents just to be woke up at 6 o'clock with screaming children ready to open up all the things that you just wrapped. They're like demolishing what, all the hard work you just did in a matter of minutes it's gone after doing that last year I was positive I'd need to see a therapist <laughs> so we're gonna get the daggone thing done earlier this season which is really is like midway almost midway through December so it's not really early but it's early for me I'm I'm tired of being a procrastinator I'm making changes so any of this confuses you and you're wondering why we got some of these things for a nine-year-old revert back to my first video part one in this what I got my kids for Christmas series I'll have it linked down below it kind of explains more about why we bought these specific I almost said Pacific like the Pacific Ocean why we got these specific presents for Cammy, um, and if you you're here and you're one of my best friends like if you know you know I do though want to just reiterate that this video is in no way bragging about what we got our kids for Christmas whether you think it's too little or too much I always say nobody can parent your kids like you can parent your kids this is strictly just for ideas for you guys I know when it comes to Christmas time my kids are very specific with what they want they don't ever expect the things that they write down on their list and things but all year long I shop for Christmas and all year long I'm constantly listening and I'm constantly watching to see what commercials really pop out at them I'm listening for things that really interest them. Um, so half of the presents that my kids get every Christmas, they don't even know they're getting. Like they don't even know exist. Some of them they don't even know exist. A lot of them are asked for, but some of them they have no idea. And that's the best part about shopping all year long is you're literally eyes and ears all year long just looking for something that catches their eye so that you can surprise them with it in 365 days. Doing it that way makes it more fun for me because it's not like I'm just etching off, you know, items on a list that they've asked me for. Like, I'm actually putting thought and actually putting an effort into what we get them. All that to be said, I do scour the internet, scour YouTube a lot of the times for gift ideas. And I have went through many a What I Got My Kids For Christmas video just to give me some inspiration, some ideas within an age range. That's what this is for. This is strictly for ideas for you guys and just entertainment. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of my friends on here, you guys are empty nesters. You have grandkids though and some of you don't have grandkids and you just watch me because you love me and I can't tell you what that does to my heart. All I can say is like thank you Jesus for for good people. I have the best community. Y'all have the best community because this is just not Marina's community. If you're in this community, this is your community too. I don't just have 50,000 friends. You got 50,000 friends. All that to say this is the rest of what we got camping. Let's 
go. So briefly recapping, Cammy loves anything Toy Story. He loves anything Peppa Pig. He's really digging Spider-Man lately. He loves anything Poppet and sensory related. He loves anything like that. He, however, is the biggest fan of Toy Story. So these are the presents. I was really excited to show you guys the first set of presents because I had bigger ones like I'm not going to spoil it in case you want to go back and look. But that had the bigger electronical kind of toys. These are the toys that I know his eyes are going to light up over on Christmas Day. The first two things I haven't got here yet are this ham, this little hammy. Like I said, he loves Toy Story and he has never had one of these. But anytime he has ever seen it while I'm scrolling on Amazon, he has flipped out. So he's got this coming. And then he has a little Peppa Pig coloring set. Nothing and huge but Cammy loves to color. He is extremely artistic. He gets it from his daddy. He is going to be so excited about so little stuff like that. The best part about Cammy is you can hand him a handful of M&Ms on Christmas and the kid will light up like a Christmas tree. It never gets old every single year. You can hand him a t-shirt and it is just the coolest t-shirt in the world to him. I love I'm going to have the camera rolling in the background on Christmas for you guys. I'm not going to do a lot of vlogging and stuff just because it's Christmas and I want my, my attention is going to be on my kiddos and my family but I do I will have it in the background rolling to get like the highlights of Christmas for you guys you guys will see what I'm talking about he lights up also, when I go to wrap the presents here in a little bit, don't think it's weird if you see me putting numbers on them. I've done that for as long as I've been a mama. I've always numbered presents. I did it for Colton to help him learn how to count. And it, it was it's a really interactive way to like for have him go and hunt in order the numbers of presents. Like I'll put on one box, I'll put one. And on another box, I'll put two. He would have to go in as a toddler and put one, two, three, four and count. So it's really interactive as a kid. And it's just, some, just something that stuck since then. Now it comes in handy because I've got four kiddos and there's an array of different sized presents so our kids get one present and then all four of them open it at the same time this kind of keeps the smaller presents together so everybody looks around and nobody's getting like a big old mac daddy truck and somebody's getting like a candy cane you know what i mean it's just not that my kids would really care because they really don't they don't care about stuff like that i'm very grateful and blessed for that but it just kind of keeps it um organized Funny how the most chaotic day of the year, honestly, I organize it. What is this? But every ordinary day, I, every other ordinary day, I don't. What is this? Anyways, okay. So those are the two things that are coming. They're not here yet, but they'll be here in five, five days. I think five days. Some other things we got for Cammy. We got, we got this for Cammy. I felt this at Ross for $5.99. If you've seen me do any videos in Cammy and Colton's room, you know that Cammy collects these 12 inch figures and this is one of them that he didn't have. I happen to be in Ross because y'all know Ross is my happy place. And I saw this and I was like, oh, anytime I pass one, if I see one anywhere, Walmart, Ross, TJ Maxx or anything, and it's one that he doesn't have because he has so many, he collects them and he loves them. If I see one he doesn't have, I always snag it and I either keep it for a birthday, a holiday or a special thing, or sometimes I just bring it home to him and on any ordinary day and he, he loves surprises like that. So. I felt this and he's gonna flip out over it. He loves this movie. So does his daddy. So does his brother. I even like that movie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> then Cammy loves backpacks. Every year Nanny asks me for a list of things that the kids might like and I always put a backpack on her list for Cammy. Now that's not to say that we expect anything from her or anything like that. It's just ideas because she she isn't around them every day like I am so she can't always have those eyes and ears on them so I'm her eyes and ears. So I send her an option for Cammy every year for a backpack because he loves backpacks and he's hard on his backpacks. If we're going somewhere like anytime we say we're going to Nana's he goes and he gets his backpack and he packs his toys. He packs everything that he needs for the trip even though it's 25, 35 minutes away wherever we're going 45 minutes away he'll go and he'll pack that stuff and he'll take it with him and he carries it on his back and everything. So Nanny got him a backpack but I got him this backpack so he'll have two. Nanny got him a character I think it's a Buzz Lightyear I think a Buzz Lightyear backpack and I found this one at Ross and Cammy's a fan of Baby Yoda. Shane knows the actual name for Baby Yoda and he laughs at me for calling it Baby Yoda but it's Baby Yoda and I found this at Ross for 14 bucks and I was like Cammy's gonna absolutely love that. Then like I said he is crazy about Toy Story so I don't know if you've seen it Toy Story is it two or three? One of them with Lasso. Lasso the Opso. Lopso. 
Lasso. I don't know. It's the the main old bear. Cami loves this character, <laughs> and this is the actual Lasso. Like Lasso, Lasso. That's it. Lasso. It smells. It smells like strawberries. That's what Lotso is supposed to smell like in Toy Story. Cammy's gonna have a fit over it, y'all. And it's stuff. It's a stuffy, so it'll go with his ham too. The ham that's coming, not the ham in the fridge. You know what I'm saying? Because he loves Toy Stories. I saw this on Toy Story 4. Has there been four of those already? Or is this bootleg? Can you bootleg a pillow pet? I don't know. But this is a little pillow pet. And it's the little alien from Toy Story. He loves this thing. I also got him a stuffy of it that you'll see here in a minute. That goes with his Lotso and his hammy. But y'all, it's so cute. And it's soft. His big presents. So these... So in the last one I showed you his big, big present. The one that I think is going to be the big one for him. I think that'll be the last one he opens. But the most expensive one was this one I'm about to show you. And it's because I had to go on the hunt for it. Amazon was sold out. You can't find it anywhere anymore. I was having to go on the hunt for it. And I found it and it was $80. And I just so happened to have in his phone, because we all, they all have Christmas envelopes that I go through every year. Um, I just keep up and I add to and take away from whenever I find a present and things like that. He had, I forget how much, it was only, it, I don't want to throw out a specific number and lie, but it was only like a little bit over, over of what this would cost shipping and all this was the last present that i bought him so the other two presents are just taking forever to get here this is actually the last item that i bought him and it kind of wrapped up his christmas envelope and wrapped up his christmas in general oh y'all he's never had one of these he's never had one of these jessies he loves jesse the yodeling cowgirl he absolutely loves it huh how do i get her to play Oh, pull the string. Oh, it has a string back here like Woody. Okay. I'm calling for help. Then, to go along with that, we have the actual Buzz Lightyear. So, he had one of these, and he had had it for... I say four years, four-ish years. It might not have been this particular one, but it was another talking and interactive buzz. And he had it for four years, and he put lipstick on that thing. That thing went everywhere with him. Like uh, He slept with it. He wore it down. You guys might have seen it in the background of some of their videos. Like, <laughs> he looks like he had been put through the ringer. So I thought this Christmas would be the perfect Christmas while he's still really interested in Toy Story because I don't really know how long he'll be interested in stuff like this. I don't know. With him, it's a little different so I don't know if it is something that he'll be a lifelong interest I don't know if that'll be something like that for him or I don't know if this will be something that comes and goes or maybe he won't be interested in it next year but I figured while he was still interested in it we'd go all out and get the figures the big actual figures like from the movie and I think he's really gonna love that to go along with that we also got the Woody. Now, he had a Woody, but he gave Woody a makeover. <laughs> he colored him lipstick with a marker, and he has dressed him in Barbie clothes, and he has made him all, all different. He Last year, we went through this thing where he would put Woody in the weirdest and most oddest places. <laughs> And I would find him. So, like, he would be sitting in a mug in the cabinet. He would be hanging, hanging by a string up on the lot. And I had no idea how he got there. Still can't tell you how Cammy got him up there. <laughs> but it would be like, try to find the Woody. And I would find him in the oddest places. I would find him in the trash. But he would have an arm hanging out. I'd find him everywhere. So, he'd been put through the ringer, too. So, I figured since we're going ahead and getting the Jesse and the Buzz, we'd go ahead and get one of these, too. This one also talks. And then here's the little stuffy alien I was telling y'all about that goes with his little hammy and his lotso. Everything that I can link, I'll be sure to link down below. I promise. I did last time. <laughs> this is probably the most different and coolest one uh, that I found him because I had never seen this before. But this is a Toy Story Create Your Own Forky. Every time he sees Forky, he gets so excited. He's had a Forky and then we lost it because Forky, if you've seen the movie, you know that Forky keeps trying to get in the trash because he's trash. Well, Cammy take, takes that quite literally. <laughs> And he kept putting Forky in the trash. And one day, Forky just never came back. He got lost in the trash. So, this one is where you create your own Forky. I think it's so cool. You can make your own sheriff's badge and everything. Create your own phone buzz. 
all the things. It's like a little activity set. I'm super excited to see him with this because like I said, he is super artistic. And then the last thing of Cammie's is like his Peppa Pig that's on its way. He has this little Blippy art set. He loves Blippy. He collects the little blind bag figurines. He absolutely loves Blippy and he loves art. So I figured this would be the perfect gift for him. So that's what we got Cami. Cami's officially finished. We're done for Christmas shopping. So Colton is my 11 year old. He is very eccentric. He loves art. He has a lot of energy. He has ADHD like his mama. He is me in a little boy form. Like he, he is so much like me. It's not even funny. He has his own locks. He's very um, secure in what he likes. So you can't make Colton feel bad for liking what he likes. And I love that about him because that's not something he got from me. As a kid, I cared way too much about what people thought. Colton is a total opposite. He could give two flips. <laughs> he don't care. He likes what he likes and that's it. And it's a quality that he's always had. And it's a quality I have always been thankful that he has. He's just one of those kids where he's so kind and he, he's kind to everybody, to everybody. He's never been mean to any kid in the in the trailer park or anything. Like, he's kind to his core kind. Like, it's not that he doesn't care. He wears his heart on his sleeve. So, if you tell him something he likes is stupid, there have been kids who have done that in the trailer park before, he will get upset about it, but he won't be sorry about liking that. And that's what I love about him. I There's so many things I love about that child. But that's one of the things I love about him. So that being said, he is 11, but he has his own locks and he has his own little quirks and he will not apologize for it. So I'm not going to either. Whatever he likes, whatever he wanted, I will not apologize for because that's what he likes. It's what he wanted. His big present. It is working. It does do it. You want to show him your Christmas present while we're in here? Yeah. <laughs> I got Shane a Christmas present. She got me this notebook. Except it's not a notebook. It's actually an iPad with an official Apple Pencil. So and what I can are you actually do with it? I'm gonna start doing some digital art. Yeah. And what may you do? Surprises. <laughs> okay, I'm not allowed to say anything, but y'all are gonna be so stoked. So anyways, like I was saying, Colton does not apologize for things that he likes. If he likes it, he likes it. Right on, I told him that. He did get that from Shane. <laughs> he did get that from Shane. Like I said, he didn't get it from me. He definitely got it from his daddy because his daddy is the same way. It don't matter if you make fun of Shane all day long. I do for liking this stuff back here all day long. I just make little quirks like I don't actually mean it. But I'd be like, oh, you like cartoons? Ah. And he'll be like, so? <laughs> like, yeah, I do. <laughs> Kimmy's big present was shown in the first video. It's his little tablet. It's like the, the kid tablet that's very, I can secure it and can really keep an eye on things that he watches and stuff like that. But his big present was also the bunk bed. So we got them bunk beds for their bedroom makeover and they'll be going up, the bunk bed will be going up this week. And that was one of their big presents. I talked to them about it. I was like, listen, I'll have to show you your big present. Um, both of your big presents put together because we have to get it up and have to you know get those beds out and this is what they look like and then Colton's other big present is this Lego table he has been asking for a Lego table for years and I just haven't been able to find one or see one on Pinterest that I could DIY that would really fit in his room because his room is so small but with the way I have his room makeover mapped out in my mind, I'll be able to fit that in there. And also a thing on the wall. You guys will see what I'm talking about. We have to get a little bit a little bit creative with how we set up Colt and Cammie's room because of situations and circumstances and stuff. So we have to be really creative with a very little space. But I think we can pull it off. So his big, big present as well as Cammie's is the bunk bed. That's their present together. And then Cammie's other big present is the tablet. And Colton's other big present is the Lego table. We found this for Colt. He is obsessed with Power Rangers right now. Colton goes through phases every year he has a new lock. <laughs> and this year it is Power Rangers and we found this Dino Megazord. We found this at Ross y'all. He asked for this and I was about to spend an arm and a leg on it at on Amazon and we walked in Ross and lo and behold if they didn't have that in Ross. And I was like what is, are the odds? So we snagged it up. Colton also really loves Fortnite. Now he's not allowed to play like with headphones like some of his friends in the trailer park do they all they all play fortnite all the boys in the trailer park and they all have headphones we 
tried doing that for a little while and then I was sitting beside Colton one day and heard some things that was said and I didn't like that. So Colton plays Fortnite on mute which you would think isn't very fun but it's actually quite fun <laughs> for him anyways. But he loves Fortnite and he collects Fortnite figures. He collects the big ones and the little ones and the play sets. So we found this one which is Beef Boss. <laughs> they have the oddest names. <laughs> Beef Boss. <laughs> Um, and I didn't know he even knew who this was. I was looking for random Fortnite characters and I was going through his characters that he already has. And I was trying to find ones on the internet that were different than the ones he has. And lo and behold, the other day he didn't start drawing this one in his little Fortnite art book that he has. He has a little book specifically for Fortnite drawings. He was drawing this and I was like, see, mama's eyes and ears are all year long. We got him this one, which is Frozen Raven. He looks like a... A gnarly character and then we got him this one which is scratch and he looks like a gnarly character too they all look pretty gnarly so to go with his new Lego table he doesn't have a whole whole lot of Legos he has some but they do get lost and stuff like that you guys know how Legos are if you have kids you know if you have grandkids you know Legos ah, when you step on one or you suck one up in your brand new vacuum and you're like oh but they're fun for the kids and I like playing with them too there was one time one of my fondest memories of me and Colt playing together was one time I got him this Lego set and it was like a a camper and me and him sat here in the bedroom for like two hours putting that thing together and I had never put Legos together before so he was teaching me how one of my best memories because we just we were just having a good time it was just us two in, in here on the bedroom floor and I remember I had just cleaned my bedroom so I was vibing and and the light the lamp was on and everything and we were in here just building Legos it's one of my it's, it's simple but it's one of my most favorite memories and I hope I never forget so since we got him the Lego table we got him some, a bunch of Legos to go with him actually he loves Spider-Man so we got him this little Spider-Man set right here it's like this little uh, I don't know Spider-Man figure looking thing and then along with that, we got him this little Spider-Man set with a car. He specifically asked for Minecraft Legos. He loves Minecraft about as much, if not more, than he loves Fortnite. Like, he's, a, he's always been a big Minecraft fan. So I found him this, which I think he's going to have a fit over. Y'all ever see that meme where it says mom's on Christmas morning and like you're sitting here like watching like what all you got them and you're excited and it says from mom and dad on the on the sticker and then daddy's sitting over there and he's ex ex he's as excited as the kids because he has no idea what they got. That's me and Shane. <laughs> like I take the money and I go buy the gifts and Shane is as surprised as the kids are on Christmas day because he has no idea what he just bought. <laughs> I found this one, and I think Colton's really going to like this one, too. I try to have the specific sets, um, up, but this one has, like, a boat. They're all different. Some of them are bigger sets. Some of them are little sets. Some of them are hard to find. There's this big one right here. This one I really think he's going to love. And then this is one that Shane did pick out. It's hidden side, and I don't know much about it. It looks like... Honestly, it looks a little scary. It looks like a graveyard. I'm not a fan of that one. Shane got this one. I'm going to have to pray over it before we give it to him for Christmas. That was that was the last of the Legos. This is the one I had in mind whenever I was telling you guys about Colton liking what he likes. Colt loves collecting these little interactive fur real pets. He has had one for forever. Man, uh... Years and years and years and years. One of them was a dinosaur, and it's, he named it Dinah, and he still has it on his bed right now. He sleeps with it. And then he has another one. It's a Triceratops, and he named it Tracy. He takes care of those things like they are actual pets. <laughs> we, there's four kids in this house. If he doesn't play with it, somebody will. We also got him this little comic set. He has several comic books that he draws in. Like, we just get him little notebooks, and he makes them into comic books. He has story books that he's wrote, and he's illustrated. He loves doing things like that. That I really think he's going to be an author um, in in his future. I see him being an author. I really do because he loves to tell stories. He loves to write stories. So I thought he would really like this. On the back it has the storyboards and everything to kind of keep it reeled in. He's had one of these before and he filled it up. It wasn't the specific one, but it was one like it, and he filled it up in no time. So I think he'll like it. Another thing Colt collects is manga. I wonder where he gets it from. <laughs> 
I wonder where he gets it from. But he collects manga and he has read through his first manga set. He has a Pokemon set that he's read through completely and he rereads all the time. He has read that. He can. He's read it so much he probably can. He probably has the whole series memorized. I'm not even kidding. That's how much he reads it. He loves reading manga. I think it's because he does love storytelling so much and illustrate and illustrations. Um, manga, I don't know if you know, but it's like Japanese and you read them backwards so they start back here and you read them and you get to the front it's odd but um, I, I'm used to it now because Shane has so many of them but the inside of them it's like illustrated it's like comic books kind of so I saw these on Amazon and I was like he loves Kirby he absolutely loves Kirby and he loves manga so I thought you know what we're gonna try and see if we can get him into this one as much as he's into the Pokemon one I'm not really a fan of Pokemon but he and Shane love it so I pick my battles <laughs> this isn't Pokemon though this is uh, like smash characters like from Mario or Nintendo something like that we also got him this book set it's a manga set of Zelda. He really loves Zelda. And this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This has 10 mangas in it. Mangas? Manga. Mangas. This has 10 mangas in it. And Shane said that he would really love this one. This is another one that Shane helped me pick out. To further encourage his love for comics and all things art, we found this on Amazon. It's a thick Mario comic book. Like, it's thick. But y'all, the illustration, even even I think, like the colors are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful colors. And Shane said that he actually read this when he was little. This is a, um, like a, it was released again. And he said he absolutely loved it. So he thought Colton would love it. So I was like, heck yes. Like that, we also got him this Zelda one. And it's another one where the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. Shane's also read this one. I'm very careful about the comics we do get him, and it's also a thick one. Both of them are super thick. I'm very careful about the comics we do get them, because you don't know what's in them these days, and I know a lot of them say curse, curse words, and we don't do that. No judgment to anybody who does, but we, we don't. Like, I say fudge, and that's about as close as I get. My kids would fall over in absolute shock if I were to say a dirty word around them. <laughs> We got him another memory card for his Switch because he goes through games like crazy and they fill up really quickly. He only got two Switch games this year, which is unlike anything. <laughs> Usually he gets like at least five Switch games or something or Switch Lite or whatever console he's really enjoying that year. Like he gets a lot of games for. He only got two because he has a new hobby. I'll show you here in a minute. He has a new lock that he's just, he really loves these things. So we really went all out on those. But we did get him the Aladdin and Lion King. This is the it's the game that I played on Super Nintendo, I believe. Um, and Shane said that they just kind of revamped it and made the graphics look better. And then this ties into his new hobby, his new locks. It's the Zoids things. He randomly got one at Ross one day, like randomly. He was just like, oh, this looks really cool, Mama. Can I get it? And I was like, yeah. It was super inexpensive. He fell in love with everything Zoids. I'm surprised we even found this. I didn't even know that this existed until like a month ago. They're like these little things that you build, almost like Legos, but like you build them into figurines. They're really cool, let me show you. So this is the first one. This is one of the little ones. This one's called Phobia, I believe. Somewhere down there I saw it's called Phobia. Like you build them and like they're supposed to battle. I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know anything about toys these days, but he absolutely loves these things. This is one of the bigger ones. This is a 60 piece. And this is Alpha Shadow. And then this is similar to the blue one you just saw, but it's yellow. Is that upside down? It is upside down. I can't see y'all. <laughs> this is like the blue and yellow one, but it's green. This is one that I found at Ross. This one's also like them, but it's white and blue. I found this one at Ross. And then this one is a scorpion one. It's red. It's one of the smaller ones, and I had to order this one from Amazon. Okay, there's only one more thing. And I think he's going to have fit over it. I found it on Amazon randomly one day when I was just looking through there trying to get ideas. Like I said, I do. I felt this and I was like, oh, he's going to love it. He loves dinosaurs. And this is a remote control dinosaur. It has a LED light. You can turn right and left. 
you can go forward, go backwards, all kinds of things. It even has a sound mode on it. Like, I think he's going to have a fit. That is all that we got the boys. I will show you the stocking stuffers at another time. I still have to pick up a few of those. That's one thing that I do have to pick up. Right now, we are going to get to wrapping. And we're going to count and see how many I can get wrapped. So, if you're needing wrapping motivation, go hide in a corner somewhere in your house where your kids ain't or your kids ain't. And pop your phone up and wrap with me. I've, I've never needed wrapping motivation, so this is kind of odd to me, but I'm down for it. Now, I want to warn you that I do wrap like a T-Rex. I mean, in my house, they get just ripped into on Christmas, so there's no point in making it look like aesthetically pleasing or anything like that. I would love to wrap like I've seen some people wrap. It's a skill. It's literally a trade you learn or something. Like, that's perfect. Mine is not like that. I always have in mind while I'm wrapping presents, this is going to get demolished on Christmas morning, so there's no need to make it perfect. I use very minimal tape because unless I'm trying to fix an error, like I've accidentally like not pulled out enough paper because I never measure and maybe like there's a sliver of present showing I try to cover it up with tape <laughs> or something like that but if I'm just wrapping it I don't use a lot of tape because my kids I mean I want it easily ripped into I don't want them to have to be methodically thinking out how they're going to get this present open even though that would be super funny <laughs> I should wrap Shane's like that if he didn't already have his present I would but my kiddos pick out which wrapping paper that they want Colton picked out this Nightmare Before Christmas one he loves Nightmare Before Christmas the girls picked out gosh there's several different in there um i run out of this one soon and i start wrapping with a baby yoda wrapping paper i picked that one up i picked out the baby yoda one at ross because i knew i would probably need extra this jack skellington paper is from ross as well i got all my wrapping paper from ross this year as well as these name tags with a little poofy thingy um, I got those at Ross too. I love, I love those. I used them all on Colton's though, so I'm gonna have to find some more, or maybe get some of those and like hot glue them on there. I don't know if I want to go through that much trouble for something that's going to get tore into on Christmas, um, but I'll have to do something to add something to the girls and Kami's presents like that. But those are so cute. I wish I could find more. Maybe I'll go back to Ross and see if they have any more. I doubt it because last time I went, their Christmas section had been wiped out. You got to get there early because they do have really good deals on their Christmas stuff. So I got there early for that stuff, but I doubt they would have anything like that now. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't spend a lot of time wrapping presents. Like, I just try to quickly do it. I was surprised at how many I got wrapped this round. I was able to wrap every single one of Colton's. Every single one of Colton's is now wrapped. So, heck yeah, y'all wanting the motivation gave me the motivation to get presents wrapped. That's, that means I'm a fourth of the way done, baby. <laughs>
mistletoe While Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we want I just got 28 presents wrapped How many did you get wrapped? My back is absolutely feeling it, y'all. I'm getting old. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.